Trust me, it looks really great. Trust me. The f What up, fellas? It's your boy Johnny, and we all know accessories can really spice up an outfit. It's one of those things that adding to your wardrobe will drastically change how an outfit can look and feel, and it is definitely the most overlooked thing that I see when composing an outfit. You know, kind of like wall art when you get your own place. I mean, my studio looked hella plain, but then I put up some sound foam, added this New York wall art, this tree and clothing rack. <sighs> coming together but it really gives off this dope vibe and that is what accessories will do for you anyways today we got an essential accessory for pretty much any time of the year especially the summertime we are gonna talk about how to wear sunglasses and I want you to stop thinking that it's all about the face shape it's not quick things I got to get out the way you don't need to spend a premium to get the look that you want look these are ten dollars and these are five dollars that I got on the streets of New York City when you pay more for sunglasses you pay for them to last you pay for the quality of course and the brand itself but I'd advise you to invest a little bit more into the shades if they are a daily wear. But for something like these, I only wore it for a photo shoot. So don't pay a crazy price. Now let's get started. So when picking out a frame, you're gonna wanna look at your skin undertone. And this is gonna apply to all accessories. And if you haven't already, watch my color blocking video so you can learn the basics of color theory and color blocking. But one thing I didn't talk about too much was your skin undertone. And so to keep it simple, there is a warmer skin undertone and then there's a cooler skin undertone. And bear with me, I'm gonna say skin undertone a lot. But an easy way to tell what your skin undertone is, is look at your veins. If your veins have shade of green that means you have a warmer skin undertone and if your veins are blue that means you have a cooler skin undertone and if you still can't tell on average if you are a lighter skin fella you're probably gonna have a cooler skin undertone and the darker skin fellas or people of color are more likely to have a warmer skin undertone like myself what do these mean well Warmer means gold looks great on you, so copying gold chains and gold rings will complement your skin color. And cooler means you're better off with silver accessories. That is why I like to wear more shades that have gold accents. Now, this is a really good guide to follow, but I still wear both anyways, even though I am a warmer skin undertone guy. And plus, if you get a tan, that can kind of change your skin undertones, so you might sway on either side. Now, we can talk about face shape, which this is also a really good guide as well. But if you genuinely like a pair of shades and you think it looks good on you, then cop it. The only thing that matters is that you like it. So wear what you want. So we got a ton of face shapes out there. We got the ones where you can calculate its radius. And we got the others where you need a protractor to measure its angles. Circular, oval, square, and triangular. Basically, I like to categorize it as either angular or round. Now, more round shaped guys can pull off the more angular sunglasses really well because the sharp angles can really balance out the roundness of your face. So if that's you, you're probably better off with something like a squared off aviator or club masters. And if you have a more angular shaped face, then round shaped lenses are more suited for you. So your standard aviators or tear drop aviators, club masters, or just circular shades are what you're gonna wanna incorporate with your outfits. It's all about balance as Thanos would say, and Thanos would probably look best with round shaped sunglasses to balance out his angular Yeezy 350 heel of a chin. And if you have a more oval shaped face like me with some angles, then you can pull off both. It's a good happy medium, so I like to rock club masters. I think most dudes look great with club masters. They're a pretty trendy shape and it's angular, but also round, so that is why it's my go-to and why it can work for most face shapes. Now today's video is sponsored Sponsored by Jade Black, which is a sunglasses company that was started because finding a high quality pair of shades that doesn't falcon punch your wallet is pretty hard nowadays. Now is he <laughs> Now, of course, you can find cheap shades like I mentioned earlier, but I've dropped my cheap ones and the lenses popped off. They scratch easily, and that's why I hardly ever wear them. But with Jade Black, they are priced very well at $50 each, and they are still made with Italian cellulose acetate that other brands like Gucci and Versace and YSL use. They also come with stainless steel, not that nickel-plated BS that gives me rashes. I don't know if that's common, but am I the only one that gets rashes whenever I wear belts or watches? I don't know, it's probably just me. And they are polarized with UVA and UVB protection, so when you're at the beach or you see snow, that reflection won't be so harsh that it damages your eyes. And as you can tell, I don't have very much surface area on my eyeballs. So I gotta do everything I can to protect them. So guys, click the link in the description. If you guys use my discount code, the frames will actually be $44. Unlike your $360 pair of Goosey sunglasses that have pretty much the same quality as the Jade Black ones. And this drop is also their metal collection, which I am definitely gonna pick a pair up. And when you do click that link, it'll take you to their site where they even have a quiz to determine the best pair of shades for your face shape. And for every pair you purchase, one, you get free shipping in the United States, and two, each pair you cop will enter you in the giveaway, where if you are selected, they're gonna fly your ass out to Cancun, where you can sip on some margaritas, enjoy the beach, I don't know, I think that's worth it. And you can save your eyeballs. So now you know your skin undertone, you know your face shape, let's decide on what frames to get. So, this all comes down to you. Shades are made up of a ton of materials, 
and design, it just depends on what accents you like. Me personally, I don't like frames with an extra bridge. Yes, it gives it some rigidity, but I don't think it looks really good on me. I just like a simple single bridge. I also like the ones with a tortoiseshell pattern with gold accents. Hence why I love these Clubmasters so much and these other pair of tortoise shaped sunglasses as well. But yes, that is up to you. You got these other frames that are more trendy. These are the clear specters with a blue cool tone lens. And like I said earlier, I like to wear these for my photo shoots. These I picked up from a street vendor in New York for only $5. I would also definitely avoid an all white pair of sunglasses because white is so contrasting to any piece on your outfit it just doesn't look right to me unless you're snowboarding or something otherwise keep in mind about the lens color if it's reflective and make sure the frames aren't too small on your face and also not too wide where the frames flare out as far as outfits go honestly don't even worry about it you can pretty much rock any outfit with any pair of shades because the more you think about a piece on your outfit the more it can bother you just rock any frame walk out like you just spiked your best friend who's good at smash and don't even trip but obviously you got your bad boy style which is something I'm not really into much right now But that is a classic style that pairs really well with shades But for me, I'll just wear them with any outfit Just to save my eyes Alright fellas, I hope this video helped you out Block out the sunlight, block out the kids on campus Because you don't want to socialize But when you do socialize, make sure you take your frames off So you can be nice And please, 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 take off your shades inside buildings Subways and all that Don't be that guy Also bro, if you ever do a photo shoot at night Bring a pair of shades I know it sounds counterintuitive But as you can see, you can see my studio lights, you can see the reflections. Trust me, it looks really great. Trust me. It... The fuck? Sorry guys, my tree fell. <laughs> Anyways, bring a pair of shades to a night photo shoot with some neon lights. It looks really good. Makes for a great shoot. Follow me on Instagram at Fly with Johnny Ty. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, or I will find you and I'll break your shades. Like this video, or I will find you as well and break your shades. And click the link in the description to check out Jay Blacks, or I will find you and break your